Hi guys, it's Daryl the Butterfly Guy, and today I just want to take this opportunity to give you a couple quick tips on the best way to wind our world famous flying butterfly. You know, occasionally, not often, but occasionally, a customer will complain saying, well, my butterfly doesn't fly like the ones I saw in your ad. And I assure you, the only difference between this butterfly, the thousands we send customers like yourself and our ads, is who's winding them and how they're wound. And that's why today I'm going to give you some quick tips on how best to wind this so that you get maximum flying effect. And I'm going to use as a, an example our butterfly card. And they come in all colors. You got purple, you got green, you got orange, pink, white, blue. But today I'm going to use our most popular rainbow butterfly card. Now, cool thing about this card on a side note is when you open it it makes a full butterfly so that way you can put it on your fridge or on your wall or in the office or what have you and use it as a keepsake now the first thing you're going to notice when you get your butterfly is that they all come pre-packaged sealed up and with instructions they all have written instructions all right and while it is good to have written instructions they're kind of limited so it's nice to have someone like myself kind of walk you through the process. The first thing you want to do is take it out of the package. And the first tip I'm going to give you is do not hold the top wings and wind the bottom. Okay. Think of these top two wings like the propeller on an airplane and the body being the plane. Okay. See this little hook here? If you hold the top and wind the bottom, you're probably going to break that top hook because it's not designed to withstand the pressure of you twisting or putting extra torque on it but what you're going to want to do is put both fingers here at the bottom and your thumb on the back okay so don't hold the bottom tab slide your fingers towards the middle and hold them and put your thumb on the back that will give you stability when you're winding okay so then take your index finger and wind 30 to 35 full turns now i personally i don't even count anymore I just look at the rubber band. Notice how the rubber band's starting to double up. And once I've got a whole row of double or even triple knots, I know I've got it tight enough. You gotta remember, the rubber band is the engine that propels these things. So if you don't get it tight enough, it's not gonna fly very good. And then once you got it tight, stick it in your greeting card with the wings facing up and away from the recipient. Because that way when they open it, it's gonna fly out and away from them like this. See how that flew straight up? And that's because I wound it properly and then I put the wings facing up and away from the person you give it to. And the last quick tip I want to give you is probably the best thing about our butterfly. Not only are they light and bright and take flight, but you can use them over and over again. So I would encourage you, if you don't get it right the first time, wind it up. Put it back in the card or book or box or magazine or whatever you want to put it in and try it again. And keep doing it until you get it just right. If it's flying too hard and too fast, wind it a little less. If it's not, if it's not flying high enough or fast enough or good enough, wind it a little tighter. Just remember, wind it tight, it'll fly just right. 